So they are correct, is what they're saying? Of course, the lights are out. Examine. Just make sure the rooms are clear. Oh, there's the thermos. Awesome. This is a nice house. I might want to live here. Oh, another thermos. Let's check the upstairs. You know, this place looks kind of lived in. Oh, the God's not the truth. The booby hatch. Yeah, I don't think they keep too close an eye on them at the clinic. They seem to slip away a lot so they can get I wish I could get one of those and just freaking yeah. hit people you know, with it. Go awesome. like dead rising on the shit. Again, Alice's screams rang in the stillness of the night. I saw myself <sighs> run toward the cabin, flashlight in my hand. I followed my past self. I was an out-of-body observer, a time traveler in a crazy drunken dream. What? This was the beginning. The night Alice had disappeared. The mystery of what had happened during the missing week was about to reveal itself. And then, crisscross. Oh, there's a fuse box. I thought they said the basement. Why am I going so slow? Of course, we need to find where it's coming from. It's That's coming from the, the table. The Andersons talked about. That's the whole reason we're here. Lady of the Light? Oh, that's gotta be what's her face, the crazy lamp lady from the town. Cynthia Weaver. Right. Must be. Huh. Hopefully this isn't meant. Hopefully this isn't copyright or anything. I really hope so. Because uh, we're going to have a fucking problem here if there is. And I'm going to continue talking over it a little bit. Because I don't want anything happening during this time. So hopefully I will be just fine. Just talking straight over it. Because I don't want anything more of a copyright trick. Because, well, copyright claim. Because I'm already dealing with so much shit as it is. We need to find Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Hey, Lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. Come on, Barry. This is... Yeah. <laughs> that took very little convincing. I like how my freaking cutouts still here. I could write ten books on you. And the best books of that year. No, you couldn't. That's right, I couldn't. But I could, because I'm a writer. What? What do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain's coming out of my nose. <laughs> I'm gonna get the recipe off those coots and be a, a, a booze millionaire. Wow. And thus, Coors Light was born. Barry, I just want her here with me. Aww. I know, I know. Don't be a depressive drunk. Nobody likes the depressive okay. drunk. We're gonna make it okay. Alrighty. Alrighty. <laughs> At least one windy night out there. It's the cutout. The cutout's the bad guy. He's been with us this entire time. Oh! That's what he was talking about, the outer body experience. Outer body. Why is it so laggy? What's weird is I'm still getting 60 FPS, but it's like... It was more than that. It was the truth. A suppressed memory unearthed by the Anderson's moonshine. I was there, an out-of-body observer. This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls. The night Alice had disappeared. I feel so tall. I had a chance to find out what had happened. I remembered being surprised to see the cabin dark. 
Alice would have never turned the lights off. Alice? Alice! Yeah. I remembered thinking I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. <gasps> Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the mm. crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. Fuck. I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. Hey, me. How you doing? Alice. Jagger had Alice, Alice. and so she had me. Alice! <coughs> I'd been easy prey. Oh, whoa. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? Alice? Maybe the she fuck? didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. What? What? God, that old lady is just fucking creepy. I hate how I'm so I'm a freaking apparition looking at an out of body experience. It's, I can't she had dug her run. nails into my brain and used me, made me her puppet. She must be here somewhere, maybe upstairs in the study. I'm a ghost. Now you can move shit. Ghostly shit. I am Patrick Swayze. Hear me roar. All right, let's see who what's up. Oh, Alice, what are you looking at? She's not here. You were foolish to think hey. so. No, she How are you doing? She drowned. No, no, no! It's your fault. Your wife is dead. You are guilty. Well, you're a pessimist. All she wanted was to help you, right? You killed her. No! Oh hush, there's still hope. That's an obvious Old freaking lake is a texture. place. Here, you have the power to change things. Oh, this is the room. She wanted you to write. I this is the room with the camera. To do. So I'm currently in this room writing. You can write her back. The story will come true and all will be well again. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. Can't leave. That's the room I'm currently writing in. Yes. I'll write. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back. Oh, that's... She saw that I was looking at that. Whoops. No. I wrote it. I remembered it all now. In the dark, I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. Even with the cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story, to bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish. To interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Shit. Zane was weak and far away, but I had written him into the story. I and knew the it. Light had been enough to set me free. The light, Zane. It is here now. I'm here because it was written. What? I brought the light to set you free. You must hurry. You will know I'm here. It will be back soon. Big Daddy? She stole the skin of my heart a long time ago. So oh my god. That's supposed to be Barbara? The old lady's supposed to be Barbara. Oh my god. I had woken up, confused and groggy. My mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. So much sense. Barbara. Taken its toll. 
I was barely conscious and fading fast. It had to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. But he had managed to wow. weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. Hey Zane, thanks for saving me. I'm gonna drive off a fucking cliff now. That makes so much sense now. Well, it's so confusing as hell. It's my fault. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. Wow. All right. So, that was another episode, another session of Alan Wake. Be sure to be sticking around next time for another series. I mean, for another session for episode five, the final episode. All right, guys. Catch you later. Bye! <laughs>